So what do we have here? We have Peppermint OS with its beautiful welcome screen with install a web browser, Peppermint Extras, etc, etc, OS tutorial. Um, uh, for those who don't know, ICE is uh, a system developed by the Peppermint team and that's since been taken up by other Linux distributions whereby you can basically save a particular web page as an application and access it directly from your um, menu. Okay. So why am I running this? Why am I running this now? What is the big deal? The big deal is this based on Dev1. Now, this is a Dev1 based Peppermint OS. They said they were going to do it and they did it. They did it on the 4th of uh, August. So I'm about, yeah, I'm about three weeks late to the party here. Um, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I've got it installed on this really horrible and ropey uh, laptop, which is the one that I fell in love with and then fell rapidly out of love with because it's so feeble. Uh, this is basically what we've got. It's the HP Laptop 14 BS0XX. It's really, really ropey and basic. It's a 2017 EFI slash BIOS machine. Um, I say slash BIOS, I'm just calling it BIOS so you know what EFI is if you're not particularly sure. It's got a seller and N3060 double, uh, dual core 2.48 gigahertz processor and um, it's using that for the graphics as well. Um, it's running it well enough. This is a, a TPM2 compatible and capable laptop. It is really low spec but apparently it runs Windows 11 but I'll tell you something, I tried that and yeah it runs it but it runs it into the ground you definitely couldn't run Windows 11 on this, you could barely run 10 on it although I'm pretty sure it'd really love Windows XP <laughs> so yeah I'm just here to say this is uh, this is the Dev 1 one um, I'll show you the sources for the courses, it's in system and it's an uptick. A couple of niggles I've already noticed with it actually, I have to say, is um, for some reason on a reboot you'll lose your Wi Fi. You have to turn off and turn back on again for it to, or at least on this machine, it could be the machine rather than anything else, I suppose, um, you have to turn it off and then turn it on again before the Wi-Fi will get recognized again and also um, so there we go you see it's, it's linking to one Debian repository for the main non-free I wouldn't have thought that would be particularly safe but I don't suppose there's been an awful lot coming from there everything else is deb.dev1.org Chimera, Chimera security, Chimera updates and Chimera backports backports okay one thing that I did notice was the first line of bash RC suddenly became problematic after a load of updates don't know why updates shouldn't affect bash RC it had a problem with line one saying there was an unexpected syntax problem after the first open bracket um, that was just a one with a closing bracket straight after it but apparently it had problems with that so I took that line out and it stopped having a problem so <laughs> here's me doing surgery on the first day of install but look it's peppermint it's based on dev1 not only is there no snaps there is now no system D go get it live the dream and thank you to the peppermint devs this is what I was waiting for and hoping for and look, it doesn't run so bad on this machine. This horrible, horrible machine. <laughs> it's a really rubbish machine. <laughs> so anyway, catch you later. Look at that, a Linux video. What do you know? Tay bye.